and um, it's not a tutorial so if you've come this far and you're like I didn't learn anything well it, it's I can't really like it was my first try so I couldn't really um, like do a tutorial on this I was basically showing you how I was doing it so I'm gonna show you the end result and yes I made a me <laughs> um, pop why wouldn't you you know if you're gonna get a blank pop and you're gonna make somebody make yourself and um, this may be my new little icon I do plan on making a little sewing machine and some little sewing accessories and crafty accessories to go with her and she'll be set up and displayed and maybe even if I can get a good enough picture she'll be my new YouTube icon I'm kind of happy with her so here she is I can't I'll, I'll do a photo and I'll, I'll edit it into this and but I'll show you I just basically kind of I don't think you can even see that when I did a tattoo on my wrist here but it's kind of abstract because it's so tiny it was hard to get it and I did my other tattoo that's over here hair is of the made from the DOS air dry clay I tried doing the clothing with clay but it just was not working out so I just painted it on there and I kind of got lazy when I got to her feet and I just did like a little tennis shoe top or something like that I usually wear all stars twisty got me into that she has all stars and I thought they were cute so um, I bought myself some a few months ago and I like to wear those when I wear my nerdy gear when we go out for our coffee we go out twice a week to Joe's mugs and here in Asheboro and get us a um, iced coffee and well I get iced coffee and she gets a latte so I like to we put all our nerdy gear on and we just kind of hang out at the bookstore and so I usually wear my all-stars and all my little Wonder Woman and, and Captain America and Deadpool bracelets and you know <laughs> weird but anyway yeah so this is how my pop turned out and I'm, I'm happy with her she's not bad it was a challenge a real challenge and taking the head off was just kinda sad because it's hard to get it back on right and the glue I kind of at that point when I was gluing it together I just said you know what fuck it I'm just gonna get it on there as best I can and the glue got smudged and smeared and I didn't want to mess with it too much because it was smudging and smearing the paint off definitely if you do this you need to make sure that you have a sealer a spray sealer that you can spray onto the pop and you want to do that before and you want to do it okay let's say before you paint or before you add clay and after you add clay when it dries and after you paint and you want to do it a couple of times after you paint and it really keeps that paint in there and if you guys saw it when I was doing the tutorial the doing the clips um, painting it I had a lot of trouble with the eyes I actually had to rub the paint off and go back and do it a couple of times so I'm not super thrilled about ever doing this again with just a basic pop I would like to um, get a pop that's already finished and make it into something else that would be fun for me but the blank pop was just such a challenge that I don't know I might do it again I'm gonna get a few photos of her so that I can add those in and you guys can see the end results um, but yeah that's it that is a fate so twisted as a pop so, hope y'all enjoyed this. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.